Hello, everybody. Infernation Joe here, and welcome to a video that is continuing something that I did a while ago, but never continued. That is my recommended series. As the name suggests, I pick up a random genre or anything related to that, like Slice of Life, and pick some shows that I feel like pretty much solidify the genre. Now, obviously, I haven't seen every show, so it's not the best judge of it, but they're just shows that I personally enjoyed. But earlier I did videos on every other genre that I can think of, besides horror, because I'm a big wuss. So, I decided that I'll do one based off of Animation Studios. And I feel like the one that is the most recognizable is Kyoto Animation. Now, of course, that terrible situation did happen with Kyoto Animation Studios a little while ago. I still hope they're recovering from it. I did make a whole topic discussing that. But today, I'm just here to discuss shows that Kyoto Animation made that I really enjoyed. Now, at the same time, I don't want to just keep rehashing anime that you've probably heard about already. I've tried to keep them as unique as possible, because otherwise, people are going to be all wondering, where's Violet Evergarden? Or, where's Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid? I really like Dragon Maid, haven't seen Violet Evergarden, looks very pretty, but I feel like those two are ones that are always brought up, so I figured to spice it up a little bit. So the first of these three anime that I'm going to recommend to you is Nichi Joe, And this kind of falls in line with two out of these three that I bring up. It's kind of underground, at least for my opinion. There honestly aren't many people that I know that talk about Nichi Joe, And that's honestly upsetting because I really like the show. It's basically all jokes in a way akin to Daily Lives of High School Boys. But once you get the idea of the three main girls and the punchlines that are always delivered, you're invested in seeing if they keep doing it the same way or spice it up a little bit. And at the same time, you have Group B of the Professor, Nana, and Sakamoto. That's very enjoyable as well, especially when they meet. But at the end of the day, it's just random one-liners and jokes. If you don't like one of them, there's another one coming your way. And the main reason that I want to bring this up now is because they finally released a dub of this show. When it's been at least 5 to 10 years from the Japanese version. So if there's ever a time to watch the dub of it or either version of it, now would probably be the time. The next anime that I'm going to recommend is probably one that a lot of people expected and that's k -On. Out of the two music anime that Kyoto Animation has made, I was torn between, I decided to go with K-On! Because I feel like K-On! did more widespread good than Euphonium did. Not to say Euphonium is bad, but K-On! basically kickstarted the Moe genre. Although at the same time, if you're somebody that's really intrigued with how the idea of music and playing music actually goes about, this isn't the show for you. They barely cover the music topic. If you're more interested in the idea of the music, then I'll point you to Hibike Euphonium because they actually do more with the music genre than this. But this is more about the characters. And quite honestly, the reason that I like this show and even looking back on it is the four main characters don't really start out as somebody that you can really attach yourself to. Like Yui and Ritsu, they're fun characters, but they're super lazy. Now granted, being in high school, you would expect that, but over the course of the three seasons that it's on, I think it's three seasons. Nope, correction, two seasons. I think they had three openings. That's where I got twisted. But over the course of the show, you get to know what their positive traits are and what their negative traits are. Like, Mio is the straight-laced character of the group, but she's super shy. But she's super shy. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's one of the best examples of the Moe genre, in my opinion. And the final Kyo Annie anime is Amagi Brilliant Park. 
Remember when I said I wanted to be outside of the box? I feel like this is so outside of the box when it comes to the other stuff Kyo Annie has made that I've watched. Like, you got shows like Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Violet Evergarden, Clannad, where all the characters are sweet and unsuspecting for the most part. But then you got Amagi Brilliant Park. It just hits you out of left field. But at the same time, I love how different it is. It's a very intriguing plot, and the stakes are set pretty early on into the show, so you know what's at stake here. Now obviously I'm not going to spoil what happens in the show itself, but the conclusion that happens feels natural and not something that's just pulled out of thin air. But out of these three shows, if I only had to recommend one for you to watch, I would say Nichijo, because I feel like it's more funnier. That's that word. But if you only have time to watch one of these shows that I talked about, I would say Nichijo first, because I feel like it's a lot more whimsical and fun than k is, plus it's a lot shorter. But that's going to do it for today's video. If you had any other ideas for me to make videos in this format, like I could still do other animation studios that I like a lot of stuff from, or I could do different genres. I still haven't done the sports genre, but I feel like I'm not the most qualified to do that. If you have any ideas for stuff that I can make with this, feel free to let me know down in the comments section. But let me know what your favorite KyoAni stuff is, because I feel like KyoAni is one that most people really like. But I will see you in the next episode. Momentai.